Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So here in this lesson, we're gonna learn how to write out numbers in words. Now, there's actually something really cool that I'm gonna show you. All that I want you to quickly write down is that um, three means thousand. This will all make sense now, don't worry. Six means million. And nine means billion. So, let's say for example, I give you the number three, four, one, eight, six, one, nine, two. What I want you to do is um, you're going to take this number from the back, okay? So from the from the back and you're going to write the first three numbers, so one, nine, two, then you're going to do the next three numbers, but leave a little space over here, okay? So that'll be um, one, eight, six, so one, eight, six, and then 34. We'll do a lot of examples and you understand what I'm talking about. Now what we do is you break each of those things into parts. So this is going to be part one, so that'll be part one, here's part two, call that part two, and then this would be part three. So what you do now is you start at part one and you just write out the numbers, that's 34. So you just say 34, 34. Okay, then what you do before moving on to part two is you look at how many numbers come after part one. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six numbers after part one. So that means million, okay? Okay, that is the first part complete. So we can we can scratch that out. Now we just do the exact same thing again. So we go to part two now, and we just start out by writing the numbers. So that's 186, 186. And then you, before you move on to part three, look at how many numbers come after part two, which is three. So that's thousand, because three means thousand. Okay, so part two is now complete. And then you just move on to part three where you write out the number. So that's 192. And then you look at how many numbers come after it. There aren't any numbers. And so we are done. So we'll do a lot of examples in this lesson where um, this will become more clear because I know right now it might still be a little bit weird. So let's keep practicing. So here we go. Step one, start at the back and break the numbers into threes. So there and there. So I'm gonna just write that out better. So two, one, four, eight, nine, zero, two, one. Now remember, three means thousand, six means million, and nine means billion. And don't worry, there will be questions in this lesson where we're gonna use billion, for example, I can't remember exactly, but there, that's, that's gonna be a billion. Um, so we have quite a few examples coming up. So step, so remember this is gonna be, this is your part one, part two, part three. So part one is you just go write out the, um, in, to, to the way you start is you just write out the numbers, that's 21, so 21. And then you look at how many numbers come after that. So there's six numbers after that, so that's million. Okay, that's part one, complete. Then you just write out this number, so that's 489, 400, and 89, and then you look at how many numbers come after that. There's three, so that's 1,000, and then you just write out this number, which is 21. So you're just gonna say 400, um, 489,000 and 21, okay? Remember, zero to one just means the number 21, and then you look at how many numbers come after that. There aren't any, and so there's your answer. Here's the next one, step one, start it, break it up from the back. Never break it up from the front, it must be from the back, so you do it like that. Then you break it up there, and there we go. So then remember, three means thousand, six means million, nine means billion. So what we'll do is we'll say, we'll write out the, so this is, um, well, let's first go write it out. So this is part one, part two, Part three. So part one, you just write out the number, that's the number 19. So you're just gonna say 19. And then you look at how many numbers come after that. That's six, so that means million. Part one, complete. Part two, you just write out the number 712. So 712. And then you look at how many numbers come after that, which is three, so three means thousand. And then you just write out 
sorry, that's part two complete. Then you move on to part three. You just write out the number. So that's 321, 321. And then you look at how many numbers come after that. There aren't any. And so there's your answer. Here's our next one. Step one, break it up in threes from the back. So up to there is your first, or the, that, that section, and then that section. Okay, so we have four, one, seven, three, two, four, zero. And then remember, once again, three means a thousand, six means a million, and nine means billion. So what we'll do is we'll start with part one, which is just the number four. So literally just go right out the number four. Then look at how many numbers come after that. That's six, that's a million. Okay, because remember, six means million. Okay, now we move on to, and remember to stick around for the next example, or no, that example, where we're going to look at billion. Okay, so four million, and then you just, um, that's part one complete. Then you write out this numbers. That's 173. So 173. Then you look at how many numbers come after that, which is three, so that's 1,000. And then part two is complete. Then we move on to part three. You write out the number, which is 240, 240. And then you look at what comes um, after that, but there's nothing. So then that's it. Okay, here's another one. So you break it up in threes from the back. So there's the first part, and then there's the second part. So it's two, three, one, two, three, four. Three means thousand. Six means million, and nine means billion. So we start with the first part. We write out the number 231. 231. And then you look at the next part. There's um, three, three num well, there's three numbers remaining, so that's just going to be 1,000. Okay, so that's part one complete. Then we go and... We write out this number, so that's 234, 234, and then um, you look at how many numbers come after that, but there aren't any, and so we are done. Oh, oh, look at this big number. So you break it up in threes from the back, so that's the first part. Well, not the first part, but that's the first section that we've broken up, that part and that part. Okay, so we break, we write it out like this. There we go. Now three means 1,000, oh sorry, just 1,000. Six means million, and nine means billion. So we start with the first part. Well, now we have four parts. One, two, three, four. So you start with the first part where you just write out the numbers. That's the number one. Then you look at how many things are after that. That's nine, so you say billion. Okay, and so now we are done with that part. Now we just carry on, so 412. So you say 412, 412. And then you look at how many numbers come after that, which is six, which means million. So now we're done with that part. Then we move on to this part, which is 598, 598. And then you see what comes after that, which is 1,000. And so that part's complete. Then we start with this part, which is 138. 138. And then you see if there are any numbers that come after that. There's nothing. And so we are done. Let's do one more example, and then we finished. So we break it up into um, from the back. So there's that one. That one, that one. So let's just write that out. Two, three, nine, four, seven, three, two, one, one, zero. And then once again, three means 1,000, six means a million, and nine means billion. So here we have part one, part two, part three, and part four. Kevin, you sound so repetitive right now. I know, guys, but re repetition is good, okay? Repetition is good. Um, so we start with part one, which is just the number two. So you just say two, 
And then you look at how many numbers are after that, which is nine, so you say billion, part one, complete. You then move on to part two, you write out the number, so it's 394, 394, and then you look at how many numbers come after that, which is six, which means million, so you now cross that off. Now we move to part three, which is um, 732. So 732. And then you can see how many numbers come after that, which is three. So you say 1,000. And so you can scratch that out. And then we move on to part four, which writes out the number 110. 110. 10, and then you see what comes after that, there's nothing, and so that is complete.